Good afternoon. My name is Colma Briscoe and I'm the head of the keyboard faculty. I studied here at the Royal Irish Academy of Music with the late Valerie Walker and Dr. John O'Connor. When I returned from Paris, having studied for two years on a French government scholarship, I concentrated on my teaching career. I'm teaching on the staff here at the Academy for the past 35 years. I have chaired many course committees and I have served on the Board of Studies, which is our academic council. I'm also a member of the Associated College Degree Committee with the Trinity College in Dublin. You're all very welcome to this year's virtual open day. We opened our doors at Western Row in August after the summer holidays, and there was great energy and excitement in the building with current and new students beginning their academic year. We have students in the keyboard faculty in every course, and they come from the four corners of the world. Today, I will tell you a little bit about our courses, how to apply, and what's needed for the audition and the interview. I will cover in my presentation various aspects of performing opportunities. You will meet some of our current students later on, and you will learn more about the RIM. We take great care of physical and mental health of our students at the Academy. The RIM publish a handbook each year on every degree program, and the current handbook can be found on our website. The Access Course program is for students who wish to work on their practical and academic areas in preparation for a third level music degree program. The dip most in teaching and performance is for students who want to spend a year or two studying music intensively. It can also serve as a postgraduate degree course for students who haven't previously specialized in music performance. The BMOZ is a professional qualification for those who wish to become music teachers at secondary school level. The BMOZ performance degree is aimed at students who want to pursue a career in music performance. If you are accepted onto the BMOZ performance degree course, you will receive 60 hours of one-to-one -one tuition, the highest number of contact hours with a teacher of any undergraduate program in Europe. We provide many performing opportunities as a soloist, a chamber musician, or in a large music project. The master's degree in performance is a postgraduate course for exceptionally talented performers who already have a solid undergraduate training and who wish to expand their performing skills. The undergraduate and postgraduate courses have performing opportunities in solo and in chamber music recitals to heighten awareness of performing skills and techniques. You will gain experience on concert platform when we officially open our new 300 seater concert hall. Teachers will prepare you for national and international competitions. The recital artist diploma is for exceptionally talented performers who have some performing experience, have built a good repertoire, and who are interested in giving solo recitals. You will be involved in chamber music and perhaps some concerto playing too. The doctor degree course in performance provides a qualification of prestige and excellence in musical performance and research. It enables you to contribute to the advancement of knowledge of personal practice in your own field of music. How to apply for the course and audition procedure. You will be selected on the strength of your performing ability. Only the best qualified applicants are accepted. While we state that the minimum of 85% in grade eight is required for the undergraduate course, a high standard of playing is expected with good reputation of prize winning in national festivals. Shortlisted applicants will be notified of the day and the time of the audition 
and interview. The audition and interview panel normally consists of a minimum of two, to include the head of faculty or its nominee, who will chair the panel and a specialist in the area being examined, piano, organ, harpsichord or accordion. If you are called for audition and you would be required to perform a balanced and stylistically contrasting programme of 15 minutes for the BMOS and the Recital Artist Diploma, consisting of no less than two works. The audition panel reserved the right to listen to all or part of the work presented. At bachelor or master's degree level, the panel at their discretion may require you to sight read. The interview for any degree will normally take between four and eight minutes, but may take more or less time than this, depending on what the panel deem necessary. You might be asked, why did you apply for this course? What did you hope to achieve through taking this course? You might be asked about a particular technical issue as a pianist, an organist or a harpsichordist. They might discuss repertoire that you may wish to explore. After the auditions and interviews, the panel produce a list of successful applicants in order of merit. Successful applicants will be offered a place on the program. You will receive a conditional letter of offer from the Academy within a reasonable time frame. Shortlist round of the doctorate degree adjudicated by the doctorate committee determines who should be invited for interview and audition. Best qualified applicants are accepted, a maximum of six. The panel for audition and interview consists of expert in the area of the auditionee, at least two heads of faculty, the doctorate academic studies coordinator, the chair of the doctor in music performance course committee. For the performance audition, you will be required to perform between 20 and 30 minutes from submitted proposal of the one hour stylistically balanced program. Successful applicants are notified in writing. The keyboard faculty within the RIM is at the forefront and continues to contribute to the growth of the academy. As well as inviting musicians to the RIM to give master classes and workshops, many of our teachers give master classes in other institutions. They perform in both Ireland and abroad. Many of our teachers have recordings of their own playing. Our keyboard faculty teachers collaborate with other musicians as well as presenting at conferences. The teachers themselves will tell you that they specialize in certain areas in the literature of their instrument. At the Academy, we are good at recruiting talent and many of our alumni are now working in the music world as performers, teachers, lecturers, examiners, and adjudicators. Our students perform outside the Academy and often become well known before they even graduate. Pianists are not alone anymore as they realize the importance and the value of collaborating and performing with other musicians. We help our students in every way so they realize the reality of a music career and career management. Many of keyboard staff participate in committees, discussion groups and activities that are happening in our changing climate and they are diligent and hardworking to redevelop our curriculum, teaching practice, and of course, we have a major redevelopment plan with a new teaching block, library, lecture theatre, recital room, and a concert hall newly built at the back of our lovely Georgian houses. Performing opportunities. We have piano performance class every week for two hours. This gives our students the opportunity to perform in front of an audience which is made up of their own peers. They learn how to cope with anxiety, pressure 
and how to control their nerves in a performing environment. At the beginning of the academic year, the keyboard cohort receive an advice on constructive feedback. Every week after each performance, all of our students receive constructive feedback from their peers and the staff member who is conducting the performance class. Later in the year, our expert on performance psychology gives a refresher talk on feedback to ensure that students are giving constructive feedback. Giving feedback is a very important part of a music career, as every musician has to self-evaluate their own performance, evaluate others as a teacher, examiner, adjudicator, or if you pursue a career as a music critic. As well as your regular teacher, you will have the opportunity to receive lessons from visiting musicians, participate in masterclasses and workshops, where you will discuss technique, practice methods, and piano literature. This year, during our performing spotlight weeks, we have Professor Anthony Byrne discussing piano technique, practice methods, and the modern pianism. Lance Coburn will guide you through the 20th century piano literature. Connor Linehan and Dr. David Adams will talk about the art of improvisation. Finney Collins will give masterclass on open repertoire. Ian Burnside will give workshops to singers and pianists on piano voice duo, which will involve international performance projects with Mozarteum in Salzburg and the Guildhall in London. Joanna Marcinkowska from Moscow will come on Erasmus and will give a week of masterclasses. Graham Scott, the head of the support faculty at the Royal Northern College in Manchester, will have an exchange project with the RIAM, as the RNCM did last year. Our staff maintain their performing profile in performances in Ireland and abroad. You will meet staff members who incorporate composition and improvisation in their work. We give our students training on stage presentation. Our staff are involved in Erasmus Exchange Program. While Joanna Marcinkowska will visit us at the RIAM, Lance Coburn and Professor Therese Fahey will visit the Moscow Conservatoire to give some piano class. All our students receive yoga sessions. Mental fitness is developed through performance psychology, business and leadership skills. We help to develop career strategy and the ability to think as a musician, which is explored through improvisation. The handbook. The handbook is a guide to what is expected of you. Compliance with the requirements is the responsibility of the student. Information in the handbook is accurate at the time of preparation, but the RIAM reserves the right to make small changes to the audition procedure and, exam and the examination panel if circumstances require. Lecturers reserve the right to alter the content of individual modules during the academic year. We are a competitive faculty who like to nurture our students and help them achieve their goals and successes. We celebrate our students' achievements and continue to celebrate their achievements as alumni. We are determined to keep the competitive edge alive. We all work together as a team and we continue to research. This is an exciting time for the Academy. We're not just musicians, we also encourage development of artistic ideas. We are artists and we have independent ideas and thoughts. The RIM maintain a strong junior school and maintain good representation of good students in junior EM, which enhances our third level degree, as many of our junior students advance to our third level degree courses. This is what keeps us unique from other institutions. 
The piano teachers at the Royal Irish Academy of Music have succeeded in maintaining the standard of teaching of the Academy's 100 years of teaching. All our teachers in the Academy, and especially in the keyboard faculty, are good ambassadors for the RIAM. And they include Hugh Tinney, Trace Fahey, Raymond Keary, Peter Chute, David Adams, Lance Coburn, Anthony Byrne, Deborah Brosnan, Maria McGarry, Patricia Kavna, Martha Erde, Connor Linhan, and myself, Coma Briscoe. We try to match our teaching to the individual's abilities of each student to maximize their learning potential according to their needs and talents. As teachers, we continue to grow, read, and research more, and always expanding our repertoire. We promote a good learning environment. Good luck with your application. Apply early, before the 1st of December. We look forward to your performance at the audition. Thank you for your interest in the tertiary courses here at the Royal Irish Academy of Music. So my name is Finian Collins and I'm a concert pianist and I'm a proud alumnus of the Royal Irish Academy of Music. In fact, I spent most of my youth there. I went there as a student. I started studying there when I was six. Um, studied piano and violin and theory and musicianship and sang in the choirs and played in the orchestras. Basically spent my entire youth there. And then after school, I did the BA in Music Performance degree course, studying piano with John O'Connor, who was my teacher pretty much all the way through. And um, the whole period in the academy was incredibly important for me and incredibly inspiring and nurturing and really you know led to a lot of the successes that I enjoyed uh, afterwards and in fact it was while I was just finished um, being a student at the academy in 1999 when I won first prize at the Clara Haskell competition in Switzerland and so it was all based on education from the Royal Irish Academy of Music so um, it's a place that's full of inspiration and full of excellent teachers and um, somewhere that I would encourage anybody to study if they have an interest in music in the performing arts and um, there are many different ways of course to make a career in music you don't necessarily have to end up being a performer like me but you can there are lots of different ways of engaging with music um, in the professional life. One of the great advantages of the BA in music performance degree that I did at the academy was the uh, large number of one-to-one -one contact hours with the tutors with the piano with the piano teacher um, there was also a lot of time for practicing and for for reflection but there was also quite a significant um, theory and um, harmony counterpoint history I remember doing a very interesting um, thesis um, but there was also quite a lot of opportunity to perform in the in the academy itself but also in in other venues around Dublin um, Dublin is a big city but yet Ireland is a small country so there are quite a lot of opportunities for students um, who are keen to get opportunities to perform at all different levels, at student lunchtime concerts, maybe at tea time concerts, to perform at the National Concert Hall, to um, get to perform with orchestra. There are so many different internal competitions as well in the academy for students to, to apply. There are scholarships, there are awards. There's an awful lot of opportunities, I think, for self-development. Um, and it's all about opportunity. It's all about getting up on stage. It's all about get, gaining experience as performing, not just sitting in a room practicing, but then getting to perform, to try out your pieces, to play for other people, to compare yourself to your peers for group classes also. So I think it's a, a hive of, of activity and, um, and somewhere full of inspiration. Performing and gaining experience in performing is, I think, one of the most important things that all students need. Um, it's one thing to sit in a room practicing six hours a day, but it's quite different than to, to sit and play for other people. And we need to gain that experience very early on. And the, mo the more we do that, the more prepared we are then for the, for the career to follow, for competitions, for international competitions, where suddenly we're playing in front of a, an audience, but also perhaps a jury of eight or ten or twelve um, very eminent um, members. 
Um, so it's all about getting that experience, getting confidence, uh, playing for our peers, listening to our peers. We are also learn a lot by listening to concerts, by going to concerts, by attending other concerts, not only your own instrument, but other instruments. All of this enriches the, the learning. Um, one musical genre very much influences the other. So, for example, if you really want to play a Mozart piano quartet or a Mozart piano concerto, you need to know his operas. So going to the opera, getting to know the operatic repertory, that's just one example of how important it is for students to, to interact. And the vocal faculty, for example, at the Academy is incredibly strong. There's an, an awful lot of great opera going on in all different um, periods of, of, of music. And I think for the piano students to, to somehow connect in with that as well is really important to accompany singers, um, to work maybe as a repetitor in, in, in preparing operas. All of that sort of uh, back and forth is really, really important. I would say play your audition pieces for people before your audition. Bring your granny in, bring your auntie in, bring your parents in. Play for the cat. Just play them through as many times as you can so that when you go into your audition it's just one more playthrough. It's not just the one only time you get to play your pieces, but make it, normalise it in your mind, prepare in advance and, um, and just remember that you know, you're there to learn. You're not supposed to be absolutely amazing. You're young. You're just showing the potential that you have. So you just don't, don't, don't put too much pressure on yourself. So great that, that everybody is here for this uh, open day. Enjoy it and I'll talk to you again. Hello everyone. Um, my name is Fierke Garvey. I'm a pianist and alumnus of the Royal Irish Academy of Music. Kama Briscu, the head of Keyboard, has asked me just to talk a little bit about my career to date and how my experiences at the Royal Irish Academy of Music helped me to where I am today. Um, so I first went to the Academy in Dublin when I was I think 11 and I studied there all the way through until my BA degree when I was I think 22, 23 when I finished. I studied with the wonderful um, Professor Therese Fahey and she was probably one of the most important teachers um, in my whole musical life and in my formative years. Um, if I could say what I think is one of the most unique aspects of the Academy in Dublin is probably its size. So after I studied at the Academy in Dublin, I went to Paris, the conservatory there, and to the Academy in London. And they're both huge institutions with masses of numbers of students. But I think the benefit of the Academy was how small it was and how intimate it was and how essentially even in lectures like history, music um, analysis, um, business of music, music technology, very often it was a one-on-one, -on -one. maybe there was four or five people in my class, the biggest class I think I had, maybe there was eight people in it, so it was a very, very bespoke, tailored, one-on-one -on -one experience in all my lectures, which was just incredible. Um, I think it enabled everyone in my class to discover their musical voice very quickly and what uniquely was special about them as opposed to, I think, from my experience of talking to colleagues of mine, going to sometimes bigger institutions, you know, sometimes you can feel a bit more like a little bee in a massive hive. Um, whereas again, in the Academy in Dublin, I just felt like we all felt very unique um, and we all found our voices, I think, quicker because of that. Um, I always found all the faculty, all the various teachers, professors, staff, um, very accommodating, very welcoming. One. Thing I would recommend any potential um, student thinking of studying at the Academy in Dublin to do if, you're, if you do go there is to not be afraid to approach all the various teachers there and um, they have a wonderful experienced background some of them run festivals some of them are involved in music technology some of are very much involved in the business of music on top of all of their other performing activities and I think not being shy um, and more importantly seeing and, and my experience definitely was of all the professors there, they were always very, very encouraging, very, very helpful any time I went to someone with a, a question on, on some aspect of music or whether it was that I wanted to perform more with singers or whether I wanted to play more chamber music or if I wanted to talk to someone who had established a festival or someone who understood, you know, tax for musicians or the business of music. Um, and I think that's one key, key thing I would say was very special and unique about the Royal Irish Academy of Music. Um, since I left the Academy, I've, um, well, I pursue a kind of a varied career. Um, I perform as a soloist, a concerto soloist from time to time. I play a lot of chamber music. I play with singers a lot. Um, and I've also established two festivals, the West Wicklow Festival and Classical Vauxhall. And I really think had I not gone to the Royal Irish Academy of Music, I don't know if I necessarily would have had the confidence to do a lot of those things that I've done since. Um, particularly in realizing what my areas of strength were. Um, and again, like I remember going to Paris um, in my third year of the BA degree in the Royal Irish Academy of Music where I availed of the wonderful Erasmus programme. 
And I remember explaining my experiences to some of the other musicians there at my age. I think I was maybe 21 and I had already played multiple concerti with the wonderful orchestras at the Academy in Dublin. Um, I'd had so many um, performance opportunities and when I compared to where similar people coming from maybe bigger conservatories in various countries all over the world, they hadn't had that level of performing experience. So it's such a unique thing to the Academy in Dublin that if you go there, the opportunities you will get will be far greater, um, I feel, and was my personal experience than if I'd gone maybe to, for my BA degree in a much larger institution. Um, what else can I say? Um, about the Academy in Dublin, other than it's wonderful, it's brilliant. I know it's very hard now with COVID for people just to jump on a plane and go visit it, but I know from knowing a lot of the faculty and the staff there that if you have any questions, just pick up the phone, get in touch with them. They're extremely accommodating, extremely welcoming, and I'm sure they'll answer any questions you might have about studying at the Academy. Um, one other thing is I'm very jealous of anyone who will be studying there in the future with the new renovation that's happening, um, and you'll be going to a brand spanking new institution with you know tip-top facilities um, and it'll be even more incredible than it was when I studied there so couldn't recommend the Academy in Dublin strongly enough um, and yeah pick up the phone and get in touch with them if you've any questions or queries but definitely consider the Royal Irish Academy of Music.